Welcome to Not Tying 101. We're glad you've joined us on this exciting journey into the world of fishing knots. You see, a fishing knot is not just a simple tie that connects your line to your hook or lure, it's the lifeline that stands between you and your prized catch. A well-tied knot can mean the difference between a successful fishing trip and a disappointing one. Fishing knots are the unsung heroes of the angling world, often overlooked but absolutely critical for success. They serve as the crucial link that binds your line to your hook, your line to your lure, or your line to other tackle. But not all knots are created equal. Some are better suited for certain lines or specific fishing situations, and knowing when to use each one is part of the art of fishing. So today, we're going to dive into the world of fishing knots, focusing on two of the most essential knots that every angler should know, the improved clinch knot and the palomar knot. These knots are not only strong and reliable, but they're also simple to tie, making them the perfect choice for beginners and seasoned anglers alike. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of fishing knots. Ever wondered how to tie the perfect fishing knot? Now that's a question that has puzzled anglers since time immemorial. You see, my friends, knot tying is more than just a skill. It's an art, a crucial part of the fishing experience that can make or break your day on the water. Think about it. With a poorly tied knot, even the biggest, feistiest fish can easily slip away, leaving you with nothing but a story of the one that got away. But with a well-tied knot, you've got a sturdy connection between you and your catch, a bond that won't break under pressure. In this video, we're going to focus on two essential knots that every angler should have in their arsenal, the improved clinch knot and the palomar knot. Both of these knots are simple yet incredibly effective, perfect for beginners and seasoned anglers alike. So are you ready to become a knot tying pro? Stay tuned. Before we dive into the knots, gather these items. First, you'll need a fishing line. This is the backbone of your knot tying venture. Any type will do, but monofilament or braided lines are popular choices. Next up, fishing hooks. These come in various sizes and shapes, so pick one that suits your fishing style. Also, a pair of sharp scissors or a line cutter is handy for trimming excess line. Got everything? Great, now we can get started. Enjoying the video so far? We hope you're finding this guide helpful. If you're interested in more fishing tips and tricks, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We regularly post content to help you become a better angler. And if you find this video useful, do us a favor and hit the like button. Your support helps us create more content like this. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to knot tying. Are you finding this video helpful? We hope so. If you have any thoughts or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We value your feedback as it helps us create better content and cater to your needs. Rest assured, we read every comment and truly appreciate your input. So don't be shy, drop us a line and join our growing community of anglers. Now, without further ado, let's get back to knot tying. Scene script. First up, we're going to tackle the improved clinch knot. This knot is perfect for securing your fishing line to the hook, or any other tackle you may be using. Its beauty lies in its simplicity, yet it's incredibly strong and reliable. So let's dive right in. Start off by threading the end of the line through the eye of the hook. Now hold the standing line in one hand and the tag end in the other. Run the tag end along the standing line, creating a parallel line for about four to six inches. Next, you'll want to twist the tag end around the standing line. Do this five to seven times. The number of twists you make will depend on the thickness of your line. A general rule of thumb is, the thinner the line, the more twists you need. Once you've got your twists in place, take the tag end and pass it through the loop you've just created near the eye of the hook. This will form a larger loop. Thread the tag end through this larger loop as well. Now comes the critical part, tightening the knot. While holding the tag end, start pulling the standing line. You'll notice the knot starting to form. Keep pulling until the knot is snug against the eye of the hook. But don't forget, before you completely tighten the knot, moisten it with a bit of saliva or water. This reduces friction, allowing the knot to tighten more easily and prevent weakening of the line. Finally, trim off the excess tag end, leaving about a quarter of an inch. This ensures the knot won't slip and unravel. And voila, you've successfully tied the improved clinch knot. This knot is a classic for a reason. It's easy to learn, quick to tie, and incredibly reliable. And while it may take a few tries to get it just right, practice makes perfect. And there you have it, 
the improved clinch knot. Let's move on to the next one. Scene script. Next, we have the Palomar knot, a favorite among many anglers. The Palomar knot is known for its strength and simplicity, making it an ideal choice for beginners and seasoned fishermen alike. Let's get started on how to tie this sturdy knot. First things first, you'll want to double back on your fishing line to make a loop at the end. This loop should be about six inches long. Now take the looped end of the line and pass it through the eye of the hook. Once that's done, you're going to tie a simple overhand knot. Imagine you're tying the first part of a shoelace knot. Keep in mind, you don't want to pull this knot tight just yet. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. You're going to take the loop end of the line and pass it over the hook. The whole hook from the point to the eye should be inside this loop. All right, we're almost there. The next step is to pull on both the standing line and tag end of the line, cinching the knot down onto the eye of the hook. Now, this is important. Make sure to wet the knot with a bit of saliva or water before fully tightening it. This reduces friction and helps the knot slide into place without damaging the line. One of the common mistakes to avoid while tying this knot is pulling on just one end of the line when tightening. This could result in an uneven knot, which would compromise its strength. So always remember to pull on both ends of the line. Another tip is to ensure that your loop is large enough to comfortably pass over the hook. A loop that's too small will make this step difficult and could lead to a poorly formed knot. And there you have it, a perfectly tied Palomar knot. This knot is not only strong and reliable, but it's also quick and easy to tie, even in low light conditions. It's no wonder that the Palomar knot has become a favorite among many anglers. Well done, you've just tied the Palomar knot. So you've learned two essential knots today. The improved clinch knot, a time-tested classic, is perfect for securing your hook to your line. Its strength and reliability make it a favorite among anglers worldwide. Then we have the Palomar knot, renowned for its simplicity and effectiveness. It's fast to tie even in low light and is incredibly robust, holding its own even under extreme tension. These knots aren't just handy, they are integral to successful fishing. A well-tied knot can mean the difference between landing that big catch and watching it swim away. Whether you're a seasoned angler or just starting, mastering these knots will significantly up your game. Remember, like any skill, learning to tie these knots takes time and practice. It might be a little trickier at first, but don't let that put you off. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. Soon, you'll be tying these knots without even thinking about it, even in the dark or in the middle of an exciting fishing trip. So, grab a line and start practicing. Tie, untie, and tie again. You'll get the hang of it sooner than you think. And once you do, you'll see the difference it makes in your fishing experience. Keep practicing and you'll be a knot tying expert in no time. Thanks for watching and happy fishing. Before we wrap up, I'd like to remind you that there's plenty more to learn on our channel. We've been exploring the world of fishing and sharing our knowledge with you. We have a vast array of helpful videos that cover everything from different fishing techniques, types of fishing gear, and more advanced knots, to tips on how to choose the best fishing spot. If you found this video helpful, then you'll definitely want to check out our other content. We're here to help you become the best angler you can be, and every video is designed to take you one step closer to that goal. So if you haven't already, take a moment to browse through our video library. You might find that gem of information that could make your next fishing trip the best one yet. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way, you'll never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Remember, there's always more to learn, and we're here to help you on your journey. So keep tying, keep learning, and most importantly, keep fishing. Thanks again for tuning in, and we hope to see you again soon.